That's the only thing that keep on asking me. A couple terrorized in their home in the middle of the night. Three armed men held the husband and wife at knife point while they ransacked the home on Long Island. Tonight, the victim is sharing details of the attack with us. Eyewitness News reporter Stefan Kim is live in Elmont. Stefan? Well, Sade, the homeowner is a music superstar in Haiti, and he thinks the suspects knew that. They kept demanding money, but all he had on him was $60. Got off the phone and thrown me did not get access to me. Roger Eugene says it was around 2 a.m. when three men broke into his home through this basement window. And then for 15 minutes, the 69-year-old says the men terrorized him and his 70-year-old wife, throwing them onto the floor and stuffing pillows over their faces. I want to tell everybody that I'm all right, nothing happened. <laughs> Eugene, better known to his fans as Shubu, is a famous singer in Haiti, and he thinks for that reason he was targeted. One of the suspects cut Eugene's hand with a knife. Cops say two men held the couple, while the third suspect ransacked the home. They get into to my room, and they put me on the floor, and after a while, maybe somebody was outside waiting for them to tell them exactly what's going on. They put, the, they opened that door and the alarm goes on. Eugene says it was that first floor alarm that sent the suspects running. The house has alarms on the first level, but not downstairs where they entered. Friends think the suspects know their victims. To me, it's inside, you know, someone has to know. Meaning, meaning like, knows him. it could be someone who knows him because I never heard anything like this before. And then he, this guy doesn't have any problem with anybody anyone now other than that cut to his hand the couple did not suffer any other injuries eugene meanwhile says this is not going to slow him down he has a concert coming up in mexico and two weekends from now he's performing in spring valley for live in elmont Stefan kim channel 7 eyewitness news